Herrera's source has one of the most versatile abilities in the game, and if you want to survive, it's important to know how to use it. Not only will it save your life, but it's also the key element in figuring out how to get your food. Herrerasaurus is not strong or tanky, so being able to ambush from the air is a big advantage. So yeah, it's nice in daytime. I can actually show you guys how I learned to climb with Herrera. So if you left click, you do this like bite jump thing. It feels like alt bite, like not the regular bite, which is kind of odd. And if you right click, you'll get this paw icon right here. It's going to be an open paw icon. It'll be a closed claw icon like this. If you can attach to something. And so if you just jump, you'll jump towards that direction and you'll hold on. Once you're attached, you don't have to keep holding right click. You can let go. Then you can just crawl up just like this. It's a little, a little shaky still, but you can go right up. You can look off behind you. If you can see this little white dot on my screen, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little white dot on my screen. Uh, if you jump, you'll jump in that direction. See, you can jump pretty far based on how high you are up the tree. But yeah, let's go back over there because I wasn't done yet. So we're going to get back up on here. I'm on the tree. We're going to go up. You can speed climb up so you can run up this tree like this. You can also move around to the other side with the left or the right. But yeah, we're going to speed climb up here. If you want to get onto an individual branch, I initially tried to like climb up and then back down onto it. But what you really need to do is you need to side shuffle onto the branch you want like this and then go up and you'll get on top of it like that. It'll automatically face you either forward or backwards and you don't have to balance or anything you can just walk along the length of the tree until it stops you and then once it stops you you can look at a branch like next to you hold right click as open claw and then now it has closed claw and then you press jump and you can cling onto that it's a little glitchy here because it's a thin branch but as you can see you can swap between branches in the same tree jumping from them so if you're fighting other herreras and you're trying to get away that's probably your best bet you can also turn around on a branch like this and you can pop a squat and you get this cool little tree sleeping emote animation thing it's really nice and i think i'm not sure but i think the stamina moves a little bit faster when you're sitting in a tree hanging out that's how I view it, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's just because I think it's so cool. Another cool thing is that you can jump basically with Herrera out of the trees and land in almost any distance and not take any fall damage, which makes Herrera literally better than every other animal out there right now. So if I stand up and I look down, I don't even have to have like the little white dot that I was talking about earlier. I can just look down like this and I can jump off if I want. And then I splay my arms out and I land, no damage. Now, if there was a creature under me, as you'll probably see later in this video, if there was a creature under me, I would have landed on the creature and did some damage. Climbing is not just good for getting up a tree. You can also use it to cross rivers and avoid Danos completely. I'm gonna look across and we're gonna jump. Yeah, it is such a good way to get across rivers. Like Crocs ain't even gonna touch me unless I'm fishing scoot over to the side you probably can jump from the other side but i think it's just easier there we go there is a limit to how far you can jump obviously but your climbing isn't limited to just trees either you can also jump from trees to rocks or from rocks to trees no matter where you are man if i was any other dino i'd be stuck here but i am herrera so i don't have to slip and fall to my death i can just escape the distance you can jump between objects is pretty generous and I would definitely take full advantage of it. It's also just really fun. Meow. <laughs> oh, I love, I love flinging myself from tree to tree. It's just fantastic. I see the paw on this tree over here. I can't tell if it's a closed paw. It is. <laughs> it's so fun it is so much fun guys you should really try this out and of course aerial ambush is the strongest move you have so right here there is a little baby tenno that i'm going to jump at out of this tree i take basically all its health and kill it with one bite 
This move does lots of damage to things like Dilo and Omniraptor, so if you want to stand a chance of killing those kinds of dinos, you definitely want to pull this off. And that's it for this video. If I find out more tips, you can definitely expect another one. But if you like this, make sure to like and subscribe and join my Discord for lots of dinosaur related videos. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.